What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raiga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Gemini sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of May 21st and June 20th then you are a Gemini sun sign and this reading is for you. In today's video we're going to be doing a spread that I picked up on Instagram. What's that? You don't follow me on Instagram? Tisk tisk, go follow me, it's Light of Raya, you can't miss it, I do a bunch of fun pictures over there, but uh, yes, thank you to whoever shared this on Instagram, it's a great, simple, three card spread, it revolves around the act of breathing, and it's uh, what I call the breathe deeply spread, it's going to tell us three things, uh, what you should breathe in, what you should hold on to, and what you should breathe out, and uh, it's uh, going to be a fun reading that we're going to do today, and we're going to be using my Omega Land Tarot deck, this is a deck that revolves around the post-apocalypse and it's a dark deck but it's not overly dark it, it's dark in the fact that it gets down to the nitty-gritty it tells you the answers that you may not be ready to hear but you need to hear uh, if you want to learn more about this deck i have a deck review on my channel so go find that and um yeah i think that's all i need to say as i shuffle the cards so uh, let me ask the question what do all my gemini sun sign friends need to hold on to breathe in and breathe out <laughs> right. so just give me a second here to ask that question and, and shuffle the cards up All right, that should do it. Cut the deck. We'll uh, do that one, two, and three. Exciting. I love how like they're boarded windows. <laughs> it's the post-apocalypse, you gotta board your windows. All right, the first card we're gonna look at on the left here is the inhale, what you need to take in. And we have the 10 of wands, hmm. Interesting. I love how the wands in this deck are guns. <laughs> this guy's got a lot of guns. Interestingly enough, I think this card is saying that uh, Gemini's, you should take on more responsibility, more work. It's saying that you're capable to me. It's saying that you can manage the load and that uh, what you need to bring into your life is the willingness to accept uh, more put more on your plate basically accept more responsibility take on more projects uh be there for people more just uh just get involved more into life is what this card is saying right now to to gemini's is that uh, you know obviously you don't want to get bogged down to the point where you are like this guy you got to crawl on your knees because you got so many guns <laughs> or so many you know responsibilities but uh there's a balance and there's a healthy balance and i think this card is saying that you don't have enough you haven't taken on enough responsibility or taken on enough at this point in your life and again this is a general overall reading for gemini so it's not going to be applying to everyone but i think a lot of you maybe most of you um could stand to take on more stuff so you know uh, maybe add another hobby to your repertoire or get a like a part-time job if you feel like you have the time and the energy to do that um, maybe look for new friends and it's just it's saying just take on more energy because you're you're more capable than you think is kind of the gist of what this card is telling me right now is that you can do it so uh, breathe that in and take on more responsibility take on more projects and more friends and, and more whatever more everything <laughs> okay uh, the second card here is the hold and this is what you need to hold on to so you're holding your breath and we have the Queen of Swords Oh, okay. Uh, this card makes me think in this deck that, uh, you know, you might have a pretty laid-back nature. You know, the swords are the air sign, and Gemini's, you guys are air signs. You love to communicate, and you love to interact with other people and just learn a lot of things. And I think that's what the Queen of Swords kind of represents. The swords in this deck are crossbows. And uh, this card is saying, you know, just keep that chill nature, uh, that uh, very... Um, 
relaxed. Do you guys feel like this car is giving you a very relaxed vibe? How um, you're just there, open and ready to communicate with people uh, whenever that they're ready. You know, you're just waiting for them to talk to you. And um, I get the feeling that maybe you guys are just very approachable, and people feel comfortable talking to you. And that's something that you should hold on to. Uh, always make sure that people feel comfortable around you. And uh, not that you don't already. That's, this, that's the point of the car. Is this is what you do well and you need to keep doing. So definitely, um, and, you know, the Queen of Swords is someone who's a little bit introspective as well. And willing to uh, look at her own thoughts and analyze them in an in a intuitive way. So uh, maintain that. Maintain that ability to kind of stay even keeled with your thoughts and uh, you know you're not having negative thoughts that uh, go overboard on your emotions. You're also not overly positive. You just keep it real. You keep it chill. So hold on to that. You guys are doing a great job of that right now. And this card is the exhale. <sighs> what you need to let go of. We've got the two of coins. Yes, this card is saying let go of the petty stuff. Uh, let go of the nickel and diamond, right? Uh, a lot of the times we'll let the small, smaller things get in our way. You know what I mean? Like, uh, let's say you have an electricity bill and you're going to struggle to pay for it. And you allow that electricity bill to really kind of pervade your thoughts. And you're always thinking about it. And you're always worried about it. And, you know, the time comes to pay that bill. And, oh, I had plenty of money all along. You know, some money came. And there was nothing to really worry about. But you allowed that electricity bill to kind of um, ruin your week. Or, you know what I mean? Or ruin your month even. And uh, there's little things like that is saying let go of that. Uh, just have faith that the universe is going to take care of you. And just um, be sure that you're you're not stressing over the small things of course i just said that you guys are very chill but i think this comes to this is concerning communication uh this is more concerning the the day-to-day -day operations of your life and the tangible things the little things and uh you know it's not just money it could be anything any physical part of this world that you kind of um, are always juggling a little bit and you're kind of stressing out about which really don't matter in the long run Right? If it's not going to matter in five years, don't spend five minutes thinking about it, right? Uh, that's a, a saying that I kind of butchered, I think, <laughs> okay? But uh, it's a saying nonetheless, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, don't uh, let go of the little things and just be more relaxed, reserved. Be how you are in communication-wise. So let's look at it as a whole here. I think we're getting some conflicting things, but at the same time, not really. Um, the, the Ten of Wands is saying you should breathe in. You should uh, allow more... Um, energy to come in allow you know you've got the energy um, and put that to use and and take on more projects take on more everything whatever you you can handle maybe a little bit at a time obviously you don't want to get bogged down uh, there's a fine line between too much and, and doing more right but as this card is saying that you can do more you're capable of doing more so go ahead and do it um, as far as what you should hold on to is that great communication you're very approachable you're very laid back you're a great communicator and I, I feel like every Gemini I've ever met has been a pretty great communicator so keep that up i know it's a generalization and some of you just suck <laughs> at communicating but for the most part i think you guys are great communicators and uh people really see that and they they they, they feel that energy when they they're around you and so keep that up hold on to that and um <laughs> uh exhale is the small little things the the you know, the little annoying things of life. Don't let them get you down. Don't let them take uh, control of everything and, and kind of uh, force you in this path that you don't need to be on because uh, it's not going to matter tomorrow, right? So that's the, the sort of gist I get from that car. So let go of the, the, the petty stuff. You don't need that. All right, before we go, I'm going to use this Earth Magic Oracle here to ask it uh, what you know, message it has for you in order to make these transformations. And... This is an Earth-based deck that's really going to... Uh, it, I love this deck. You'll see. So I'm going to ask the question, uh, what can Gemini's... What do Gemini's need to know about uh, making these changes? And we will pick a card here. We got... Waterfall. Effortless. So when I see this card, I think of rushing water how it just moves through the terrain effortlessly it doesn't have to try it doesn't uh you know force anything it just lets gravity do its own thing and it um it just uh it just is one with nature <laughs> basically as, as, as rushing water just finds the easiest route 
it finds the easiest route and it carves its way as it does it and then that's just a permanent fixture not permanent but it's there then it's a fixture and it creates something beautiful like a waterfall uh, as it uh, moves through the terrain and I think that's a, a lesson that you can learn from making these transformations is don't force anything do it uh, effortlessly find the path of least resistance when you're making these changes when you're trying to add stuff to your repertoire or when you're trying to get rid of stuff um, just do it effortlessly and find the path of least resistance and carve your way through that path rather than fighting against a big boulder right go around the boulder and uh, you will just find everything to move more smoothly and then in the end you're going to create something beautiful like a uh, a gorgeous waterfall that makes rainbows and look at this scenic waterfall it's, it's the best okay so that is the reading for Gemini's the the breathe deeply reading I hope you guys got something out of that if you want a personalized reading just for you then head on over to my Etsy shop and I can tap into your specific energies got a bunch of readings over there the link is in the description and in the card and I uh, hope to see you guys over there uh, if you did get something out of this reading please leave a like it lets me know that you enjoyed it and if you have anything to say about it any questions or any comments put it in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe if you like this video I do these all the time plenty of great insights for you so be sure to subscribe so you're up to date on all of that. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.